Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Ingenious Giacomo, and uh, today um, I'm mounting some lights for a friend boat because um, Tendig is complaining once he goes out at night he can barely see anything. So came up with the idea to get those lights at uh, West Marine to like around forty dollars each. They're pretty bright. I think they're like a thousand lumens each, and they're a wide. Uh, it, technically, you couldn't see really in front of the boat. That was the biggest problem when um, out of, with the boat at night. And uh, so he has the little marker lights. So I'm gonna take power from one of those. Those um, lights he got at West Marine around forty dollars. We didn't know where to put them, uh, and I thought the best way to do it is on on those bars. And I use those stainless steel clamps. By the way, those clamps is kind of crazy. 40 pieces, um, assorted clamps from Arbor Freight. I think they're like less than six dollars. I mean, it's crazy because you buy two of them on Depot and Lowe's, you pay like three bucks for two. So those um, they're pretty weather resistant. They are coated with um, they have a zinc coating. So it's a lot of them, as you can see. Let me open it up. The same with them, um, so it's like 40 of them. I use four. I use two on each light. And um, as you can see, they're very sturdy. Once I I adjust it, yeah, man, very sturdy. And then, of course, you can adjust it with a little X key, the angle, like, that's gonna need to be done at night. So um, the best way for me was to mount it there using those clamps, two each. And the wire is the wire building. The rest of the wire, I'm extending it because uh, so I'm using those crimping um, connectors, butt connectors. Uh, same thing here, with like 520 pieces at Arbor Freight. And then I do some heat shrink wrap on it. And that's it. Uh, so those were only, I think, nine bucks if you remember, nine dollars for all of those, 520. Because at the time I bought like 10 of them for like $3 for 10. So at least I'm going to have plenty for a while. Uh, and uh, same with the crimping tool, it's pretty good. But that's the better one. I think it was less than $10. That's like uh, the, their premium one. The cheap one wasn't that good. So the, all I did was uh, mounting my lights there. Use the, put the wire on it. As you can see there. I use some zip tie to hold it. I'm gonna Okay, so that, that's it. I drill a hole into the fiberglass. Fiberglass, there is nothing really. It goes to where the um, anchor um, chain is. So it's normally it's a wet thing. I'm gonna make the wire run underneath the fiberglass. I'm gonna use some clamps to hold it. And then I'm gonna connect it to the wire coming out, who's going to the marker lights. So the pretty much when you have the marker lights on, those are on also. It was fine, didn't use that much at only 1.1 amp, each 1.2 amps, so it's not enough to create an overload. So I put two of them, I will adjust them and I, let me continue with that. Uh, like I say, great, wonderful video on those um, hose clamp assortment and all those uh, crimped, you know, like this fast on connector and box connector is so many uh, for Arbor Freight, for like, uh, nine dollars plus taxes okay that's it let me get going because it's getting dark and i'm gonna test my lights so um, i already crimped my wires and next thing i'm going to put the heat shrink and just uh, use a blower and um, you know a heat gun and make a shrink so it will protect those um, from any kind of um, moisture uh, but that's it what i did is like i cut one wire longer one shorter so they kind of overlapping each other keeping the width of the wire at a minimum so i can slide it through the hole without making the hole way too big i'm done with the second one i put a little um, white epoxy there and uh, i'm gonna do a second touch up later on so there's my wire it's already like i said it was an extension sadly they didn't came with a wire long enough I wish they did it so I have to extend it and I use a wire of a similar diameter. Now my two wires are here, now I'm going to, need to splice it into the existing 12 volt circuit to power the side markers and when the side markers are on the lights will come on. 
it's just a simple way to do it. I checked, like I say, there is no issue since they've been uh, LED, they draw very little power, so there is no issue of um, causing, um, like I say, break, trip the breaker or um, overload on the circuit. That's it. Uh, and like I say, today we installed two lights on a boat because they complained it was too dark at night when they taking the boat out. Uh, those are my lights on the boat, as you can see. Uh, they look pretty good, actually. There's a nice little addition to the boat, but the main thing, they're gonna illuminate ahead. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you can. Bye.